Hey folks, Malforn here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're continuing our adventures in Crusader Kings 3 in the Rise of the Gurids and we're just going to get straight into it. We've got a bunch of wars already active and I get the feeling we're going to have a bunch more coming at us pretty quickly. We've got some dangerous factions. We should be able to deal with this holy war though relatively quickly, although I say that and there's this massive army here, so <laughs> instead Let's uh, let's take a bit of a turn. We, we do not want to get attacked by him, so we're going to have to see uh, what we can uh, get up to instead. We're going to accept this proposal. Well, especially she's come of age, so we're just accepting that marriage that we set up before. Uh, we've got quite a good ally from her, so we're going to carry on doing that. We have our uh, next lifestyle perk here. I think we'll go with Religious Icon, so we can carry on converting people to our, uh, our new faith. We've got 22 months left. And then we'll obviously move this on to somebody else. We're still increasing our control. We've got our foreign affairs going, get some more prestige. We've got developing, uh, in increasing the development in county. I'm guessing we haven't hit the max for this, surely not. No, it's only uh, development 12. I think 25 is what we can go up to at the moment. Uh, yeah, we need our allies to arrive. Oh, here's one right now. So you know, we can probably head back up here a little bit. Oh, they gave up trying to siege this down, which is interesting. Yeah, they've got 3,200. Between us, we've got a little bit uh, close to that. There's another 1,200 heading this way, but... Oh, actually, I was going to say our army might get larger, but we're actually at the cap of our army, which isn't fantastic. We could do with some more troops, but actually we've got 2,000. We've got 3,000, 3,500, so I think actually combined... Oh, hello. <laughs> Twice in five minutes, I've been ready to jump into a battle and then realize... Do you know what? That's not the uh, the safest idea, so... Um, oh, actually, no, he's gone another way. So, actually, we probably can do this as long as this other army joins us. Which it looks like he's gonna... Uh, we, oh, we really need to get back down and deal with this war as well. Um, we've got to stop this one first, though, especially as they've got so many troops. I really don't want to attack into mountains. Um, oh, they changed their minds, so Joel, we will do it because we have got our allies with us. So I think we'll be fine as long as we win this fight before they arrive. We have got this other ally here. Oh, and another one coming on the way, actually. So we could potentially have waited this out, but I think we'll we'll manage to be fine because I think we'll win before they arrive. Yes, we did. We won just before they arrived, and then the other army arrived after us. So we should... Oh, we've got an uh, invite here. Grand Tournament. You may not arrive in time. Oh, to the Khan of uh, Zetsu. Can we not make it? You will not arrive in time. Yeah, we're like uh, three weeks late. Uh, where is it? No, oh, it's been held all the way up here. I d I'm guessing we can't make it in time. Um, speed plus 10. Would we make it then? Oh, we'd only be two days late. So I suppose we could get rid of this. Have we got any dangers on the way? Yes, we do. We have two. I think this is just because of, yeah, there's been a war happening here. So we've already got the mercenary uh, guards. Is there anything that can make us move quicker? I don't think so, because we don't have the unlocked buildings yet for, like, make haste. Well, actually, you know, you only get that if you are impatient, craven, or reckless. Um, So it, we could have ideally done with being one of those, so we could speed this up. None of the rest of these give us speed. No, and I'm guessing that is our fastest uh, travel as well. She's got... Oh, wait, no, maybe not. Maybe we've got uh, Laxman. Ironically named Laxman, who's actually really good at doing what he does. It will cost us prestige to do this. Ah, is it worth doing, though, just to go to a grand tournament? Do you know what? No, let's just leave it. Let's leave it. Let's leave it. I don't want to... We, if we encounter any delays on the way, we won't make it anyway, so... Uh, we might as well do that. Can we white piece this... Oh, it's at zero, so next month we should be able to white piece this. And then we can hopefully get down. Yes, there we go. We could we could wait around, siege this down, and um, they're both mad at us again. Um, but I really want to get down and deal with this war, so... Uh, well, with this uh, invasion that we're trying to do, this holy war of our own. I'm guessing this is the same tournament? Yeah, it must be, so we'll click that away. And she's boiling anger again. She literally just got mad at us, and then immediately did the exact same again. Anyway, our daughter. Oh, interesting. We've got a daughter, so we could... Oh, the guy we're fighting, actually, has died. So I guess it's his son that's taken over. Um, Wow, she's beaten up. Oh, yeah, she's the one that keeps getting mad at us. 
She keeps getting really angry at us. Anyway, what I'm thinking of is we have got this dangerous faction that's going to happen anytime soon. I wonder, can we marry her to one of these houses and then they'll stop being in these rebellions? He's in both. Oh no, he's got the same helm, but he's actually different people. Um, I mean, there are only counts, but 90% uh, of military force? I mean, we, I suppose we could just fight these. I wonder. That's a daughter. That's a son. I wonder if we, if we can at least kill one of these. I'm kind of thinking it might be... Oh no, he's just like, no, no chance. Different uh, religion? Yes. Never mind. What about you? Yeah, you're a different religion. Can we get you to convert? No. Can we get you to convert? Potentially. Let's see what he decides. And then we'll do the same with uh, with these as well. Okay, she is already of our religion. Has no children, though. And he is of our religion. Does have children. I wonder. No, still says no. <laughs> still low fertility. Oh, she's 34. Ah, uh, yeah, good point. So in other words, she's basically uh, kind of uh, kind of useless in the game for getting us some uh, some decent alliance or something like that. Yeah, these are all just small counties, basically. Um, these are all our nephews and Sasan, who is a regent of someone's. By the looks of it. Yeah, he's the liege of Marv uh, Rudd. Marv Rudd. Do you know what? Let's just marry them together. Whatever. Kind of keeps her, keeps her married. Ooh, do we want to pay 50 gold to convert this guy? And it converts all his family. So I'm thinking of doing this. It's 50. Yeah, I'm going to spend 50 gold in converting all his family. He should leave that rebellion now as well, I would imagine. We shall see. Oh, is somebody requesting a betrothal with our granddaughter over here? I don't think she's the one that we'll play as. I don't believe so. Primary heir is you. No, it's not. Uh, Saba over here is our potential future character. She is from a different side of our uh, tree then. So she wants to get married to this guy. Where's he from? Oh, all the way down here. Joel, that's a pretty decent sized uh, kingdom down here, actually. Well, is he, is he a king? Yes, he is a king. Joel, I'm going to accept this. Oh, we won't get an alliance out of it? Oh, it is normal marriage as well. I'm gonna, no, I'm going to decline this. I'm going to see if there's someone better, and we're going to marry her matrilineally, just in case, you know, something bad can happen. We could have a, a boating accident. We could have a, a bad spell of smallpox or something. Who knows? And we could end up playing as her in theory. So, sure, let's, uh, let's keep it sensible. Let's just marry her into someone for a very half-decent trait. Uh, she hasn't got any of her own, so... Um, I suppose it doesn't really matter. Was this Herculean? 24 years old? Let's do it. Let's do it. You know, you know if you've been on this channel for any amount of time. I'm a sucker for Herculean or uh, Amazonian, if I can get it into my house. So we'll we'll try to do that. And this is at minus 35. Now, I think we should be able to turn this war around then. Now, we will have these rebellions relatively soon. Yeah, oh, wow. No, another one joined this rebellion now. Who's your heir? No, oh, somebody else. You're not married to anyone. Can we um, arrange a marriage with someone from our house? Mm, only grandsons, they won't count. Well, there'll be a marriage, but it won't give us an alliance. That's not going to stop her from uh, from attacking us, obviously. Um, we could try to revoke her title. She's obviously going to say no. Yeah. You know, we'll just have to wait for these to happen. And then what we can do is, I guess, we can take away these titles. Um, yeah, because we are limited crown authority. Oh, wait, no, can we just revoke them anyway? Oh, no, it'll trigger the war. Okay. I mean, it, the war's going to happen anyway, but I think we'll beat them, then revoke the titles. Because uh, we'll basically have to do that anyway, but this might delay it slightly so we can deal with this war at least, or at least get this war rolling in our direction and keep delaying it. Like we've been doing the last episode or so, just delaying this war as long as we can. Um, so we can win it. Because we are going to take an entire duchy off them. Oh, there we go. She declared now. We're going to take uh, Bakar off them, which is all this land here. Basically split their realm in half. So we, we do want to win this. We're not going to say I have no choice, because this is... Um... Oh, do, do, do want independence? Is that what they're trying to get? 
Is it this one here? Oh no, it's trying to put uh, Gawa of Harat on the Horatian throne. Oh, she's trying to get Harat back as an independent realm. So we're going to say no. It's a kind of an independence one in theory. She doesn't become independent and she does get the duchy offers. So we're obviously going to say I will not be threatened. We will obviously call everyone into this war as it is free for us to do so. We've got these good allies. That's the thing. We can kind of deal with all these wars happening because we do have so many allies. We should be able to fight them all off in theory anyway. Uh, so anyway, let's get this uh, guardianship done. What is she focused on? She's focused on stewardship, even though she's way better at learning. Can we actually switch this or is it too late? We can switch it. Fantastic. Right. Um, let's... Get her a guardian then who oh do you know what should we do it ourselves we'll do it ourselves because we've got high learning as well we'll only do one though we won't do any more our grandson here is stewardship focused he's actually quite good at stewardship so we'll leave him as that and we'll get our chancellor teaching him and then we got one more we got our granddaughter here she is intrigue focused quite interestingly she's way better than the others but you know what i'm just gonna leave her intrigue focused i'm not that uh not bothered about it. Once it gets past ones that we're going to play ourselves, or potentially play ourselves, I'm not really that bothered. Oh! Oh, that, um... <laughs> that war just ended because she died. So, uh, I guess that rebellion that rebellion is finished. So, that was easy enough. Thank you very much, game. Give us a bit of a break there on our side, so we can hopefully get this war done. She's dead. I think she was actually helping in both of those factions. So that's actually killed off a bunch of these, which is fantastic for us. Um, what I should do, somebody mentioned this in the comments previously, and I totally forgot to check up on it, is um, do we know the Scythian language? So I was making a mistake. I'm sure other people are going to call it out as well. Is I was looking at court languages for which languages we should learn. That's obviously incorrect. So thank you very much somebody called that out. I'm, I'm sure deep down inside I knew that was wrong, but... For whatever reason, it was uh, not coming to my mind. So what we should have been doing is looking at like Afghan, Scythian language. Do we know that? I know we've learned quite a few languages. No, we don't know Scythian. So we should learn that because then the Afghan characters will like us a little bit more. Um, let's see. Is there anyone in here that knows uh, Scythian? Iranian and Shaz Terzik. Can we actually... I don't think... There's a way for us to find them. Unless maybe you find character. Does it allow you to choose language? It does not. For some reason, I thought that was the case. Uh, maybe there's someone down here. There's a lot of... Oh no, that's impassable terrain. So that will do it. He's Persian and Asari, so he's not going to know it. We basically need an Afghan character. None of these are. None of these are Afghan. <laughs> uh, you? No. It says this was where they were. Oh, I suppose we can actually look at it a bit quicker this way. Probably. I'm going crazy. Oh, I've gone too far now. Okay, no, it's just all in this section. Maybe one of our vassals is... Oh, no, that's us. But we own all this as well. <laughs> we own more than I remember. Oh, he's Afghan. Okay, so does he know Scythian? He does. Right, let's learn his language if we can. Um, where is it? Is it this one? No, is it this one? It is not. Why can we not learn language from him? Maybe we've already maxed it out, but I thought we had the thing where we can learn more. Yeah, his foreign language limit is 2 out of 5. Ours is 3 out of 11. So why can we not um, not do learn language? Uh, well, it's not a hostile one. Is it a friendly one? Oh, well, that's... Well, we'll unpause. <laughs> we'll get this going. Keep this going uh, whilst we look into this. Because, yeah, I'm kind of surprised we can't uh, do it. Anyway, we'll have a look at that in a second. We'll get this war done. It's not a massive issue, but it would have been kind of cool to do. Um, for whatever reason, maybe we can't scheme against him for, for some reason. We're like, we have a, uh, a, a truce, I guess, or something. Oh, there we go. Yes, we can learn his language. Yes, let's do it. So he must... You no, know, I didn't check. Yeah, Scythian. So hopefully we'll learn Scythian. Do we not get to choose? We'll see. If not, we'll just do it twice. Anyway, we're going to siege this down. That will turn this around quite a bit. 
for all these allies we've got now. So, yeah, there we go, 17%. We'll come straight down. It looks like he's got a uh, an internal war going on as well. During the early medieval um, era, so our innovations, we've now gone into early medieval. And uh, what did we just learn then? I clicked off it. I should have looked. I've totally forgotten now what it was that we last learned. So we're going to go with... Um, well, our fascination is moats. I don't want to do that. We'll do city planning. We'll match our exposure... As you've seen, I generally always do that. I always just match uh, match the exposure generally because it just speeds it up so much. I know we could focus on a specific thing and it would take longer, but we'd get what we want. I'm not too bothered about all the rest. So we're going to finish this one for nine years and then we'll see what else happens. This one's pretty good. It gives us all the extra um, uh, buildings here that we can unlock. So it's a pretty decent one. I'm not too worried about it. Now, this is the wrong place. I'm guessing it's Dharma of Rajapur over here. Self-defense against possession. Wow, intriguing. I swear he was possessed by a spirit. He approached me while screaming and speaking in tongues, and he tried killing me. The woman cries. It was an accident. He was trying to hurt me, so I grabbed the knife without thinking. I'm overseeing the trial of a commoner accused of murder. She says the man she killed was possessed by a spirit. There were no witnesses, but several of the commoners did say the man was acting strange, and there was some, and um, sometimes acts in bizarre ways. Like, as if a ghost possessed him. There have been previous cases like this man attempted to harm others, though never to the point of threatening their lives. Lastly, the woman did not resist arrest and willingly complied. So we're vengeful, so we're just going to kill her. <laughs> we're not going to do any anything else. We're just like, yeah, well, we're, a, we're, we're just a vengeful character. So you killed this guy. Well, we're going to murder you. Thank you very much. And then we'll, we'll siege this down. We have got our allies sieging other people down. So we should, I think, get this war uh, finished relatively quickly. Uh, white piece. Oh, we're just going to ignore this because actually right click to reject. We'll do that instead. We've got another learning perk. So we seem to get these quite quickly. Monthly piety per night, 1%. Obviously per night. So I think we have 10 nights. So obviously 10% more piety. And faith uh, reformation is less. Actually, let's have a look. Can we reform our language? Or was it that we needed more? Yeah, we don't have any. <laughs> don't have any of the holy sites, so. We ain't going to be uh, reforming. Actually, no, it's already reformed, so we can't re-reform it. We'd have to create an offshoot of it. And as we've discussed in a previous episode, uh, we're not going to do that. It could be quite cool. But uh, the more people who follow this religion, the better for us. Because when we take over their lands, they're not going to hate us quite as much uh, if we are the same religion. Oh, we got invited to a hunt. Are we going to make this? Let's go on this. How, actually, how old are we? 57. Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go anyway. You know, what's the worst that can happen? We're all the way over here. Oh, it's in Merv. Oh. Do you know what? I'm not too jazzed about that. So he is obviously... Must have inherited from the, uh, the lady who was... Um, Rebelling against us. He was obviously their son. He's got no parents. So interesting how he's the ruler. But I guess there's a reason. Uh, well, do you know, we can actually look, can't we? Uh, title history. Oh, no, we gave it to him. Ah, no, never mind. Yeah, no, we created him to give away these lands. That's why he has no ch no family. Because we uh, generate him uh, using the button. So ignore me. I was incorrect. Actually, yeah, I think it was down here. This flag here. That was uh, the the people who rebelled against us. I mean, they still dislike us. Oh my god! Look at that offensive war modifier, minus one hundred and forty-two. Um, we kind of could do with dying, if we're being honest, because um, we can't lower this. I think it lowers by like one a year or two a year. It doesn't lower by much a year. It's it's kind of annoying. It doesn't tell you like this one does. Um, how much this does go down, but 142. There's no wonder everyone hates us. Well, this guy loves us, actually. He doesn't care. Well, actually, I suppose these other people must have been alive all the time that we've been in charge. But these other ones, not so much. Actually, no, it's because they're different religions, I think. Well, he's a different religion here. And him, I think he's relatively new, so he doesn't have the same level of modifier. In fact, he has no modifier, so you know maybe he can't get it. I'm sure he can, though. Oh, our wife doesn't have it either, so oh, maybe not. Uh, oh, I know why. It's because he's not technically a vassal, is he? There we go. Someone will have uh, shouted that out, no doubt, in the comments, but I figured it out in the end all on my own. So, uh, yeah, that's why, because they're not a vassal. He's not a powerful vassal. That's why they don't have the crazy modifier. 
But uh, he has less, though. I think he only has... No, he has the same. 142, 142, 142. Jesus. I'm just going to call the episode 142. And that's that's what it's going to be called. Um, so, do you know what? I, the same thing. I don't trust it. Oh, do you know what, though? We could go and try and make friends with him. We could do that, couldn't we? That might work. So, can we change this? So, we want to do this... Befriend him. Although, I guess it's not really... Vengeful. I mean, I don't think we'll murder him. Do you know what? Let's do friend. It kind of still works. Let's go with, yeah, the guy who, whose uh, thing we're at. So we'll try and make his friend, because obviously if he likes us, it will negate some of that penalty. So I think it's worth a try. Yeah, we are vengeful, but we don't have to hate everyone, basically, do we? We just need to be vengeful if they cross us, basically. So anyway, other people's pastures. We're going to go with... Yeah, an ambitious, diligent, does not shy from hard work. So let's do this one, where it's we try and basically help them as well, and it worked, so that's good. So we made a friend, so he likes us, so that's good. Making camp. There we go, we're off to hunt some gazelle. Look at it, look at the boys. <laughs> we're ready, we're ready to go. A rude vassal, is this the guy that we're trying to make like us more? It is. Just as my friend started to dismount, legs still dangling from the saddle, my tedious vassal made sure to bump into his horse, sending him tumbling to the ground. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> That's no way for, for us to act. We're basically saying there's no way for our vassals to act. But we'll do that for now. Yeah, we'll do that, because we are trying to make them at least like us a little bit. Anyway, laying in white, we're going to try and... Uh, kill this uh this gazelle we watch the gazelle from our concealed bowline tensing with anticipation as the flurries uh the flushes cried and bayed uh baying hounds grew louder um he took careful aim the gazelle hurling towards us who's pounding in the dirt the arrow struck true he killed him so our vassal here he actually likes us now so what a good time what a good time there we go done this we gained a little bit of prestige that's not too bad it was a quick trip so we're not going to get anything too crazy we did get some experience for our hunter uh bar but i don't think we're going to get too much further into that if we're being honest uh where is it here uh venator joe we could get halfway through it we got 58 so we'll have to see if we can get much further anyway 52 percent we're trying to learn this um uh, learn language on our way back from where we've been which language is this we're going to learn? We pass through the Arg of Jurjanaz. Uh, it's not a Z at the end, so I do apologize. A jubilant local approaches my entourage. Her smile stretches from ear to ear. I discern that she's offering a warm welcome, but the fine aspects of her speech are sadly beyond me. Oh, she's no Scythian. Learn language will progress. Oh, nice. Nice. Caravaneers? We're not going to buy the mysterious lamp. No. No, we're not paying 50 gold for this. We're going to say, leave us alone. Thank you very much. Anyway, we're at 52%. Where's the rest of this duchy? Down here. So we'll siege down uh, Bakar itself. Oversleeping yesterday, our travels in P uh, Pajda were rather grueling, and I was so exhausted, I overslept. The rest of my entourage didn't want to wake me up, saying they were worried I would not be in the right state of mind. We are vengeful, so, you know, maybe if they woke us up, we'd be like, excuse me. Why'd you do that? Uh, but we can do this. Make sure to not oversleep again. We get some travel speed increase. Uh, oh, on the way back. I mean, we're nearly home anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I'm going to just lose the stress, I guess. It doesn't really matter. We're so close to home. And there we go. We are back home. So, you know, all in all, a good time. So, yeah, we'll finish the sieging. They're not going to be able to deal with us at all. Get this war wrapped up, and then we'll figure out where we're going to go next. We could... Somebody also said in a previous comment we should sell some of our artifacts for money. And then we'd be able to make the kingdom. Which is an interesting idea. What would he get us? 80 gold. Can't destroy this because it's too good. 40 gold. 40 gold. Oh yeah, these are all going to be 40 because they're... Um, 
Uh, they are a, just a normal, a fine weapon, not, nothing too special. Um, okay, we won't do that. <laughs> we won't do that, I suppose. Oh, actually, do you know what? Do we have the one... I don't want it to be callous. Gains arrogance. Do I'd rather be arrogant than callous? Or would I? Maybe. Yeah, do you know what? Let's make it. <laughs> Let's do it. We're not going to play as a... Maybe that was a bad idea then. Making it arrogant, probably not the best idea. But uh, do you know what? It is what it is, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, ransom off these people. See if we can get some money. We did get a little bit. Oh, only one. Oh, they must all be owned by the same person. Well, not owned, but uh, kind of controlled by the same person. There we go. We've got this marriage going on. So she's going to get Herculean, hopefully, in the future. Get 10 gold from you. 10 gold from you. 10 gold from you. And then he's not worth any gold. He looks quite old. Yeah, we don't we don't care about you. You can just go away somewhere. Not that bothered about it. It gets a little bit of money. Go up to 163. It's a bit short of the uh the 500 or whatever we need to, to make the kingdom that we are after. Yeah, 500 gold. We're a little bit short of that. Which is not ideal. Although I think we still do we only have one son still? Or one daughter even. No, we have a bunch of people. But is she inheriting everything? Uh, I'm looking at the wrong thing. Succession. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> this is bad. We're going to lose like... Well, yeah, basically our realm will get split into four. Do we only have daughters? I think we do, don't we? I don't think we ever had a son. No, we literally only had daughters. I mean, what are the chances of that? Nine children, all of them daughters. If we'd had one son, it would fix... Oh, wait, no, it's equal gender. So it wouldn't matter, actually. We'd have to change this to male preferred, and they're never going to accept it because they hate us now. Hey, we really need to make... Well, we either, we either need to really make one of these kingdom titles or own enough land. Oh, wait, no, it won't make the higher title. It'll only make the titles of the same tier. We really need to try and get this. Um... Which we have. We have the land for it. We have the land for uh, Khorasan, is it? Well, that's the wrong one. That's Persia. Yeah, Khorasan we have the land for. We just need, the, like I say, the 500 gold. Anyway, we won this war. So let's do this. So be it. We've got 200 gold. We are above our land limit. We know that because we've just obviously gained all of this. Now, we are a duke, so we obviously can't make a duke down here. So what we'll have to do is basically, I think, grant this to a... Sure, should we grant it to like our granddaughter? She's a genius. Oh no, we're gonna play as her. Well, that's interesting because we'll re-inherit this when we play as her in the future. So I, I love the fact that she immediately hates us <laughs> after doing this. She immediately hates us because of the uh, war modifier. But um, I think that's a good idea. It's probably not the best idea, the good idea because oh, do you know we could do this domestic affairs now just to try modify some of this a little bit. I mean, I don't think we'll overdo 148 negative and the minority religion or uh, culture, so they obviously dislike us as well. Let's get converting, though. Hopefully we can convert some of these people and then they'll, they will hate us a little bit less. Anyway, uh, we don't care about this. Doesn't matter. They hate us so much, it basically makes a difference. We've got a bunch more people. I'm just going to pick random ones. We've got so many grandsons and granddaughters. I'm, I'm not going to go around and... Uh, you know, meticulously check these. Oh, get can get 50 gold for this person, though. So that's not bad. That takes us up to half the money. 18 for you. I know we could wait and get 25, but there's a chance you could escape or, you know, just die in our uh, in our prison. So I don't think there's much point in doing that. Oh, the other guy's gone. Uh, so well, let's make an alliance with her, though, because then she can't attack us, even if she doesn't like us. She is from our house. And, yeah, I thought we had somebody else we could ransom. Oh, we'll ransom him for a hook, then. He is... Oh, Joe, he's pretty good at learning. He's 35. He isn't of our religion, but if we can convert him... Sure, we'll, we'll recruit him into our house, uh, into our court. Why not? I don't care about you, though. You could just go away. As always, I suppose we should have converted her. That was probably a mistake, not doing that. But anyway, there we go. The, the realm of the Gurids has expanded further east. 
We managed to win both those wars, and, uh, well, you know, we definitely won the third war. It didn't get cancelled. We obviously definitely won that ourselves. No assistance by the uh, by the AI killing somebody there. But, uh, yeah, there we go. So we'll figure out what we're going to do next episode. I think we will maybe attack these. Oh, I'm not sure. They've got pretty good allies. Uh, maybe the Safrids are ready for another war. Although, do we have the... Oh, no, we don't have a truce. But we don't have the prestige either. Okay, so if we can get some prestige, we'll attack the Safrids uh, down here and try grab some of their land. I mean, we could attack some of these, I suppose. We'll, we'll figure it out. Probably one of these over here. And uh, we'll also try and get that 500 gold from somewhere. That's going to be our main focus, I suppose. I mean, I don't think there's any way we could do it. I wonder... I guess we can't do a grand tour. No. I wonder whether we did the one where you, like, shake them down for money. But I don't know if we'd make enough more money back than it cost us. I'm guessing not. Although maybe... Does it say how much? Hmm. John, let's have a look. <laughs> I'm going to stop at you all. <laughs> Basically, shake you all down. Attacks. 100... Wait, why does it say it only costs 184 now? It said it was like 420 before. Now it's changed. Well, maybe this adds on to the other one. Let's find out. Oh, no, it does add on. Okay. Oh, the activity options, of course. Yeah, it adds, gets added on top of the cost. Uh, we could lower this. Would we be able to cost... Ooh, we're only 20 gold short. I'm almost tempted to do this. They all hate us anyway, so if we shake them down for some money... I wonder if we can make back more than it costs us. I have no idea, so I'm kind of tempted to do it. But anyway, we'll think about it before the next episode. And uh, yeah, that is the world of Crusader Kings at the moment. Nothing too crazy. Oh, where's Frankia doing quite well over here? They've unified uh, Aquitaine and obviously uh, Frankia itself. Looks like England are in at the uh, top of Brittany as well. Oh, who's this? Bernicia. <laughs> okay, just a very red county up here. I guess because it's... I was going to say, I guess because it's uh, Norse. It's not. It's Catholic Anglo-Saxon, but it is red. Very dark red colour. But it isn't part of England, so a little bit strange, but it is what it is. And, uh, oh, look, these guys are doing all right. Down here, they own quite a bit of... Well, I suppose it's deceptive because of how small the counties are in theory, but still not doing too bad over here in the uh, the north of Africa. And uh, Bavaria as well. The, the Grey Nations are doing quite well for themselves at the moment. Sweden doing pretty well as well. They've got Denmark. It uh, looks like they've split in half with uh, Svelsvig over here as well as the other half. And then, yeah, these guys, we could do with them weakening somewhat. We do own quite a bit, and we are going to have to go after these in the future. But uh, nothing too crazy. But anyway, we'll leave it there for today. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. It helps other people find the channel and the series in the future. And if, if you are new here, I obviously play Crusader Kings. I cover the dev diaries, news, discussion videos, all that good stuff. I also play other historical titles on the channel as well. But we'll leave it there for today, and I'll see you in the next one.